this ai tool literally changes everything say goodbye to hours of painstaking video editing work now in just a few clicks this ai video editor will do all the labor for you from cutting silent parts to adding those cool zoom in and zoom out effects adding subtitles selecting suitable music trimming scenes translating into other languages this will take care of all of this stay with me for the entire video to see how easily one can edit their videos in a cool and relaxed fashion the tool i'm talking about is called wisecut let's dive in to check this cool tool once out. you come to the website of wisecut you see this interface just come here on the right side and click on sign in to create your free account once your account is created you will see this interface you can come here and click on create where it will let you create your project but before that we need to upload our raw video so come here on the left side and click on upload then come here and click on add media and click click here to browse for files click on this and just add your raw file if you see here the max upload size is limited to 1 gb and max duration of the video should not be more than 30 minutes so we just add our raw file which is basically the raw footage and then click on upload one file so it will take a short while for wisecut to upload and process the raw video then we just go and create the project here we'll name the project example cooking video here come down and select the language of the video click on this drop down i'll select english then we we'll go through all of these features the first one is smooth cut if you don't enable this there will be jump cuts in the video so jump cuts are basically where there are no silent parts and everything is crisp and properly cut up smooth cuts will ensure that there might be a few silent gaps in the video making the video look more natural so i will enable this once you come down here you will see auto cut silences which is pretty self explanatory it will cut away most of the silences smart background music will let the tool select a suitable music on its own and we'll click on auto dark which means that whenever we have a talking head coming in the video the background music will go down on its own and whenever the talking head is out of the video the background music volume will increase on its own pretty cool then we'll go to auto punch in and punch out which is that this tool will automatically add in those zoom in and zoom out at suitable parts of the video to make it more engaging and burned in captions will add subtitles to the bit once you have selected all of this just come here and click on create project so after this we'll see this notification where it says that wise cut will inform us once the video is ready so it took about roughly 2 minutes for me to receive the notification that the video was ready so once the video is ready just come here and click on this picture the video and you'll see this you are in explain all the work the tool has done 297 seconds of awkward silence removed 30 jump cuts created 149 lines of subtitles created music that perfectly fits your video has been added audio enhanced with professional editing techniques and smart close ups created with auto punch lines so here you have this button where you can just preview the video so we'll just check the, we'll just check a short preview out guys welcome to the chef's backyard today i'm going to show you how to make a delicious cheesy steak sandwich <laughs> And once you have seen the preview and you are not very satisfied with it and you want to fine tune it even more, come here and click on Edit Project. Then you will see this entire storyboard of the video, where all the various scene breakdowns are visible. So if you come here in the top, you will see this blurred scene. You will see this darkened scene, which is basically the scene that this AI tool has removed. Come here and click on this button to see the scene. and to take a call for your sense if you want it to be edited or if you want to restore it you can just play it in case if you decide to hide it once more this once again come here and click on this bin side and if you don't wish to see all these hidden scenes you can just come here and click on hide removed scenes so all these scenes will just start be visible in the storyboard let's go and check out the other features so this play button will just play the scene This button on the right side will play the scene from that particular scene till the end of the video. Then this button as it mentions trim scene. Just come here and click on this to trim or edit the scene as per your wish. Then this volume button lets you increase decrease or mute the volume of the music and the media with all these options. 
this button lets you duplicate the scene then this button lets you change the punching in and punching out which is the zoom in and zoom out effect now another cool button if you come here and click on this button it will let you add your own footage or additional b-rolls i'll select my own b-roll footage select this come here and click on add and then in a short while this b-roll footage will get added to my selected scene then this button here lets you edit the subtitles you can do your spell checks or change the subtitles so let's come here we click on translations and this will let you translate the video into all these available languages just click on them pretty easy click on music and you have the you have all these various options you can click and listen to them and change the smart music that Vicecut has selected to your own choice from their available option. Once you're done with this, come here and click on settings. And this is the same setup which we had used initially. Once again, you have the option to change a few patterns here. Here it also gives you the option to change the color of the subtitles. And once you're satisfied with everything, click on preview and export. Then you see this interface. Here, although it says preview, but while using the software, I realized that you, you cannot really preview it until you render the project. So although it says that you can't, and here it mentions that if you want a video without the watermark and in 1080p, we will have to upgrade the plan. In case we don't want to upgrade the plan and you want to use the free version, it will be exported in 720p and with the wise cut watermark. For now, I'll just export it with the wise cut water, watermark. So I'll come here and click on render now. Here the video is getting rendered. And once the video is rendered, here you'll see this interface from where you can directly download the finished video. And you also have the option to download the subtitles and transcript. And now let's see the result of it. Guys, welcome to the chef's backyard. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious cheesy steak sandwich. We're just gonna need a few ingredients. We've got our bread. We're using an Asiago cheese bread. We've got some roast beef. Uh, this could be any kind of beef. I like this. This is the uh, in-house roasted roast beef from my grocery store. I've got two slices of cheese. Remember, I said it's gonna be cheesy. We've got some of that beautiful gym lettuce. We've got some tomato, some onions, some butter. And we're gonna season that with a little bit of our spicy mustard and some of that chef's backyard flavor formula seasoning. Send me an email, chefsbackyard at gmail.com and I'll show you how to order it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is start our pan. We'll get our pan warm. We're gonna go with the kind of a low heat here. While our pan is heating up, let's prepare the vegetables. I've got an onion here. You've got the root end, you've got the stem end. We'll just cut those guys off. Next, we'll cut it down the middle. Next, we'll remove the outer peel. It's too tough to eat. Once you have the peel removed, we can go ahead and slice it thinly. We're gonna cook it, so we don't want it super, super thin, but we'll go with kind of about a quarter of an inch in thickness. Use the tip of your knife, guys, for this task. What you wanna do is you wanna keep your knife, point the knife tip down on the cutting board, push it, season that with our Chef's Backyard Flavor Formula seasoning. Just shake it on there just enough to get some spice going in there. Now what we're doing is we're caramelizing these onions. We're cooking off the water from the onion and that's bringing the sugars, the natural sugars that are in the onion to the surface. And they get a little bit sweeter and more intense in flavor. Now I've got some more Chestershire sauce. We'll do about a teaspoon in there. Add about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce into these onions. And you're gonna wanna press those onions down into the pan, right? You don't wanna crowd them. You wanna give them room to let that steam evaporate. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you will certainly enjoy this video which is going to come up here on the screen where we have discussed an AI tool which will let you create full length YouTube videos with a single prompt. It's absolutely mind-blowing.
If you don't have time right now, save this video for later as no video is more important than your life. I will continue to strive to make more such videos which will help us in our shared journey of self-improvement and how we can leverage the power of AI for our greater. Thank you and see you in the next video.